and uh, we'll just make this script. Uh, we'll call this uh, hello world. And uh, let's let's open up hello world. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the most basic thing possible, um, which is always where we start with a hello world script. And we're gonna uh, output uh, the words hello world to the console. So let's take a look real quick at what happens here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put Visual Studio here, and I'm going to put Unity here, and we'll just minimize this stuff. Um, so here is our script. And you'll notice that when we create a script in Unity, it automatically uh, has it extend mono behavior. So um, if you've never, ever seen C Sharp before, um, hopefully you're familiar with class-based structure, but a class is a container for code. And the way that this works is uh, we'll start off uh, we'll start off like this. Um, just ignore the public for right now. Um, string uh, text equals hello world. And let's let's talk about this entire thing real quick. At the top of our class, we have uh, import statements. Uh, these import code from other uh, libraries, other projects, stuff that you've linked to your projects. So in this case here, we're, we're using the Unity engine, and we're, it automatically uses uh, system.collections, which is a uh, .NET um, library. Then here we have the class structure. Um, you see the class is self-contained. I can expand it or close it. And when we have a class, we define it as public so that it's usable um, by other classes. We give it the keyword class. And here we have uh, hello world as its name of the class. You'll also note it's really important that classes need to uh, match to their file name. So here we have hello world.cs. Um, and here we have um, hello world as the class name. Now, this right here. Uh, this colon and then this other class mono behavior is telling us that this class extends mono behavior. And what extends means is that mono behavior has its own logic, its own code in it. And we're going to, instead of having to rewrite all that every time we create a new class, we're going to take a copy of all that code and have that as part of our hello world. Now you won't see it here. It just means that we can reference it. And I'll talk a little bit about referencing later. Now, there are two things that are contained within classes, mostly. We have properties and we have methods. So a property is a container, a variable, where we store information. So here we're denoting that this is a public property, meaning that classes outside of this class can actually see it. Um, if we were to not have this, like you'll see here, uh, we have void and void, and this is not public, this means that it's private. That means that classes outside of hello world won't be able to see it. And this is an important thing in programming, especially when you're working with teams or building a framework where you want to have clear distinctions between public and private uh, variables and methods so that you're not uh, having other people um, access them accidentally. We do want to make this public and I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, here we have to give it a type. So C Sharp is a strongly typed language. What that means is that every time you create a variable, you need to tell the compiler explicitly what that type is. So in this case, um, string is going to be our type. There are three primitives. Um, we have uh, numbers, we have booleans, and we have strings. Uh, numbers uh, are broken down into several subcategories, so there are floats. Uh, for floating point math, it's anything with a decimal. There are, du uh, there are doubles, uh, which are used mostly with like currency and stuff like that. It also have a decimal. And then there are ints. Uh, ints are whole numbers. They don't have any decimal points. And uh, it's very important. It's, you know, I'm not going to go over it now, but it's important for you to learn sort of the basics of um, when to use which type of number because it has performance impacts. Uh, then after we define this, we give it a name. So here's our text. And then we actually assign it a value. So anything that becomes a string uh, needs to have quotes. And you'll see it turns orange. And we have the words, hello world. Next, we have a method. So a method is basically a container for code logic. And 
we call these methods by their name. So if I was to call update, I could do update uh, like this, and here I'll have it'll it'll make it'll execute any of the code in this block. Now, one of the cool things about Unity is that we don't have to worry about that. This uh, this structure is already set up for us, and by the fact that we extend mono behavior, the start method and the update method are going to get it called for us. So start is generally where you want to put all your code uh, when the class is starting up, right? Uh, update is where you put the code when there is some sort of calculation or something you need to do on a per frame basis. So Unity works as a game loop, just like uh, many game engines. Uh, so update gets called, and then there's a method for draw. So there's a hierarchy to how things work. So on every single frame, all of the classes that extend model behavior, their update method gets called. So you can use this to your advantage. Um, you don't want to do heavy calculations such as uh, physics calculations and updates. There are actually a whole bunch of other methods um, that you can take advantage of. Uh, for example, there is a fixed update. Um, there is also void uh, late update. And each of these are called at very specific times. So fixed update is used um, only uh, a few times uh, per frame, and this is for where we want to do physics logic. Uh, late update is towards the end of the update cycle. And similarly, similar, similarly, I'm having trouble pronouncing that word today, um, start is just the basic of it. Uh, in fact, there is a void awake method, which gets called before start. This gets called as soon as this class is initialized. And this is useful for when you need to get references to other classes or things contained within this game object before you actually start up.